Hi, everybody. Um, so I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about something um, that, that is going on on one of the TV shows I like, which is uh, ABC Family Switched at Birth. I don't know if any of you watched that show, but lately there's been a storyline um, where one of the main characters, Bay Kenish, um, she went to a party and she got drunk and then she ended up going to a room kind of to lay down because she didn't feel very good. And somehow, while she was in that room with her ex-boyfriend, they had sex. And then the next day when she wakes up, she doesn't really remember what happened very well. Um, she wakes up in bed with the guy so she knows something happened and she finds out that they did in fact have sex. And then before long, um, the subject of rape is brought up. That perhaps because she was drunk, um, maybe it wasn't consensual. And I've been thinking about it, and it's kind of hard for me to know really what to think. Because on one hand, I am definitely all for women's rights. I mean, I believe that a woman should have total control over her body and who touches it and what is done with it. And I think that the rape culture is throughout everything, it seems. And um, I do see that there are a lot of people who think if a woman dresses sexy, then she deserves to get raped. And I, that is totally wrong. That is so wrong. Because it doesn't matter um, how you dress. If someone else rapes you, it's their fault because they chose to do that. And we can't blame someone else's actions on what, you know, we wear or look like or whatever, you know. That's a slippery slope if you start saying that people don't have to take responsibility for their own actions. So anyhow, um, the thing with this whole storyline that really confuses me is Okay, I mean, she was drunk, um, and obviously not making good decisions, because, you know, she wasn't thinking clearly. And he was drunk, and obviously not making good decisions, because he wasn't thinking clearly. So, the question is, who has more responsibility, or who is more at fault? Um, is it a rape? I, I'm not sure. I mean, the fact that she didn't remember it tells me that she must have really been out of it. Um, personally, I've never actually been drunk, um, I just, I never liked the taste of alcohol, and, like, I hate throwing up more than anything in the world, so I was never willing to risk it, but, I just, I'm not sure what to think, and usually when issues come up about, you know, rape, I'm, I'm all on the woman's side, but I know that this issue is not just on this TV show, it's been in the news kind of lately because I've seen articles about states who are considering making laws that if you have sex with a woman who is drunk, um, that it's automatically rape or something like that. And I'm just very conflicted about that because people have been getting drunk and having sex together probably for God knows how long. And at what point does it become rape? I mean, Obviously, if the girl says no or resists, then obviously I would think that would become rape. But, you know, if they're too drunk to say no or resist, is it their fault? Or, you know, should the guy... Obviously, if the guy's sober and he chooses to have sex with a girl who is drunk out of her mind, then I would consider that his fault. But when he's as drunk and neither are thinking clearly, it's a lot harder to tell who's at fault. And I'm just not sure what to think about it. And I feel bad because I always think of myself as, you know, a moderate feminist. I'm not like, I'm certainly not a guy-hating feminist, but I am a woman who looks at the world and sees that there's a lot of unfairness in this world towards women. And even though things have gotten better, um, over the centuries, at least in some areas of the world, that there's still a long way to go. But on the other hand, I also don't think that, 
I don't want people getting accused of things they really didn't do. And that's why I'm just conflicted about this whole thing. So I was just wondering what everybody else thinks. Um, if a girl gets really drunk and she gets to the point she doesn't know what she's doing and the guy's really drunk and somehow they end up together, you know, who's at fault or is anybody at fault? And in the show, it was even more conflicting because the boyfriend or the ex-boyfriend Tank, who she had sex with, he said that she came on to him and started it. And that makes it even more confusing because, you know, if she was too drunk maybe to know what she was doing. But, you know, again, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really not sure what to think. So I just wanted to ask other people for their opinion and see, you know, am I out of my mind? Am I just not seeing this right? Or... Or is it confusing? So, uh, if you have something to say, feel free to leave a comment. And I'll see you all again soon. So, bye.